What's up guys, welcome back to Reject Films, back with another unboxing video for you guys. Another package from Vinegar Syndrome doing the, what is this, February package? Plus a few more things that I picked up uh, along with that. Even a uh, shade for you guys for this video, and uh, now we're in the same fucking hoodie as I always do. But uh, I know, y'all ain't here to see me, you're here to see what movies there is. And uh, plus I've been feeling like shit today, so I wanted to clean up, maybe feel better. So um, yeah. Definitely want to do this video for you guys, though, and uh, get it out there for you. I know some of you have uh, already received yours or picked them up at the conventions and things like that. I've seen around Facebook uh, groups and everything. So, yeah, um, hope everybody's doing well. Me? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Just sick. Uh, glad you asked. And uh, before we dive into this, uh, do me a favor, guys. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to put right there there you can't actually click the one i put here but uh hey you know uh follow me on instagram twitter links in the description and all that good stuff if you would be so kind so here we are with the awesome vinegar syndrome box with their awesome tape because they're just an awesome company and i'm going to say awesome a million times so yeah um didn't get a whole lot of uh and more for this uh segment as i was just uh i don't know just trying not to buy so much fucking crap. But, uh, yeah, look forward to the uh, Valentine's Day uh, weekend sale they're going to have. Um, hopefully grab a few things there. But we have our invoice. I want you guys to know where the fuck I live, so I'm not going to show that. Oops. Um, oh, forgot I got those. Start off with the most important thing. Which they didn't even wrap these. It's kind of weird. But I uh, picked up some blank cases. They're like three bucks on a bigger syndrome site. And then you get these off eBay too for probably about the same price. But I uh, wanted to get these for some uh, other non-vinegar syndrome titles that I need to replace. So I grabbed a half dozen of those. All right, on to the movies. Nothing else in the box. It's just an empty box. All right, cool. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's start off with the and more, like I did last time. Ooh. Oh, you already saw what it was. Oh. And, yeah, only picked up uh, two and more titles. So, start with those first. All right, so, first and more title, you guys already saw a sneak peek of. So, it means hanging off the slip cover here like a piece of glue. All right, so I grabbed, uh, sometimes I stand and sometimes I don't. Anyway, grabbed uh, Dominique. I've actually heard pretty good things about this film, so I wanted to snag that. Um, I mean, just like, uh, oh, this one's already kind of reversed, so there we go. Uh, just like always, I'll just kind of run through them. If you guys want to stick around for uh, the features and uh, open them up and all that, all this is embossed here. Uh, Dominique's embossed, the little... Uh, noose is you can kind of fill the noose um cool cool and one i've heard really 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 great, great things about and uh, i was going to grab this on release and i uh, just kind of held off and that is the candy snatchers i've heard nothing but great things about this love the shine and the knife here you can see um it's all embossed on the candy snatchers uh i don't feel anything else embossed but you do have like a the knife feels a little uh, smoother than the rest of it and uh embossed again on this side inside here is uh eh, different art on the inside there too so that's cool candy snatchers all right move on to what this package consists of we have extra three i've never seen extra one or extra two i'm doing this because i'm hoping to put pictures of this but from what i hear you don't have to have seen those two to understand this one you do have uh, embossing around the alien head here i'm not sure what its name is never seen any of these movies uh it says watch the skies on back uh nothing embossed on there besides that lettering uh yeah extra three And then the other uh, horror one of this month being Hollywood Horror House. 
Uh, of course, all the lettering is embossed. Uh, some embossing actually on the wheelchair here. It's kind of cool. Uh, a new high in terror and shock. In the back quote, uh, you do have the embossing on the hand here. Coming around the side. Let's see if this one here is any different. Nope, same thing on the inside on here. So we'll flip that around in a minute. Slide her back in there for now. And lastly, this is the uh, adult title, I do believe, and that is Public Affairs. Let's see what we got on the inside, just the same thing. Uh, as far as embossing on here, uh, Affairs is kind of embossed. The public sign here is a smoother texture. Uh, you do have some embossing around her hair, which is kind of weird. Can't tell if the slip is just filthy or if it's made that way. I'm gonna say it's made that way. Uh, the Great American Porn film on the back, so that's cool. Uh, embossed right there. Uh, the names being embossed, and it, the, a film by Henry uh, Picard embossed. I'm gonna say that's how you say his name. And on the inside, you just have the same thing. So yeah public affairs so all right that's all i picked up this time along with some cases show the spines and dive into these things so if you guys are cutting out thanks for watching if you're sticking around you guys are fucking awesome uh let's uh open these bad boys up start with the uh, public affairs i guess see what the uh, insides look like and uh what features we got here I was gonna do menu screens on all the new ones, but uh, that's just be too much um, to do, so I'm not. Uh, if you guys would like to see menu screens on anything, uh, let me know. I'll I'll see what I can do and uh, take it from there. I try to keep talking as I struggle to open these things up, but uh, trash will be over there. I should have cut the box for the trash. All right. So we got inside, make sure there's nothing I can't show. All right, two disc set, which is a Blu-ray and DVD. Flip this shit around. And that's a straight like 1980s style uh, lingerie and everything going on there. Bam. All right. Public Affairs from 1983 runs 81 minutes. Uh, features include new scan in 2K, going public, an interview with uh, co-writer producer Joyce Snyder, extensive audio interview with actress Annette Hines, reversible cover art, and English subtitles. Uh, I'm not recognizing any names, but then again, I don't know a lot of porn names. So, yeah, Public Affairs, 1983. Uh, Looks pretty cool. Here's a glimpse of the uh, screenshots there for you. No, absolutely nothing about it. I could have read the uh, synopsis here, but y'all know I'm not that good at reading, so I'm not going to try. All right, moving on. Hollywood Horror House. The only one I've heard of in this bunch is, uh, I mean, I've heard of Extro. Uh, never seen, like I said, any of the other ones, but at least it's something I had heard of. But I love the fact that I hadn't heard of any, a lot of uh, the Vinegar Syndrome titles to, uh, you know, experience something new. Let's flip this around. Oh, I, I love the uh, reverse. So it looks like we got an alternate title on this one. Uh, the Savage Intruder. Actually, really dig that art. It's like old school VHS box art. Awesome, really, really cool. This is uh, from 1973. Runs 91 minutes. Uh, this looks so terribly badly good. Uh, this is an old uh, Kong Dodd films, whatever that is. Um, and these are all region free, guys. For those who don't know, uh, I believe all of the Vinegar Syndrome releases are A, B, and C. So. Uh, for you guys in the UK or wherever you are, uh, you guys can pick these up and watch them too. Not much in the way of features on here. You have a new scan in 4K, though, um, from the original 35mm negative. 
historical commentary track with uh, David uh, Ducata of RapidHeart.tv, uh, David Dell uh, Val of uh, SinisterImage.com, promotional image gallery, reversible cover, art in English subtitles, starring a bunch of people I've never heard of, but uh, really cool. Um, yeah, both arts on the disc here, another Blu-ray DVD combo. Awesome stuff. So, Hollywood Horror House. That sounds like a definitely uh, fascinating one. And all, the, all the slips in this uh, look fantastic, too. Uh, this is a uh, release 309 for those uh, curious, and Public Affairs was 310. All right, on to Extra 3, which is release 308. We have 8, 9, and 10 in this uh, month's bundle. I was uh, struggling for that word for a second. A lot of people thought this was the first Extra when it, when it was announced, but uh, I don't know how easy it is to get the other two, at least uh, U.S. versions. Harry Bromley Davenport's. Uh, here's a look at the DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, so the, it, it was kind of already reversed. That's pretty much the same as the slip, so we'll go ahead and keep it the way that it was. I've never really seen them do that uh, from Vinegar Syndrome. Usually it's the exact same thing, unless there's this completely different artworks. So that's kind of a, a different change. Excuse my OCD here. I'm trying to get it back in there even. All right, so Extra 3, you got a few features on here. You got a new scan in 2K. Winning and losing an interview with director Harry Bromley Davenport. Acting like a writer, an interview with writer director uh, Daryl Haney. Original trailer, reversible art, and English subtitles. Uh, we got Andrew Divoff in here, of course, from Wishmaster. And uh, that's the only name I know. But uh, there's some images from the back, if it's not glaring too bad. Which I forgot to show on Hollywood Horror House. Um, this is from 1995, runs 97 minutes. One of their newer uh, releases. So, this one actually doesn't say... Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Uh, I was trying to see who originally uh, watched the skies. Um, I think that was extra. Yeah, this is also those extra three watch the skies. Um, this is originally from uh, Showcase Entertainment. All right, almost there. Uh, candy snatchers here. Started as such a simple crime. Inside tagline is. Yeah, I admit, it. I mean, this looked terrible, and then I heard a lot of people talk about how good it was. I mean, it's not running out of stock anytime soon. Um, those are the ones I've been trying to grab more of. I know Dominique was under the 500 mark with the uh, slip, so I wanted to grab that. Um, but I just I heard how good this was, and I didn't want to. I uh, have to track it down later. Uh, there's the DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, the reverse art is different as well. So you do have this as well. It's kind of the same thing as, well, no. I don't know which one I want to keep it on. It's kind of the same thing, but in a different color scheme without the uh, blue and the yellow. So it's kind of like a reddish tint and white. Uh... I don't know which one I'm going to go for. I'm going to keep it the way that it was for now. So you do really have three, I guess, different covers on here. Uh, this is from 1973, runs 95 minutes. Uh, features include rest restoration in 4K, a dark film, an interview with director Gordon Trueblood, snatching the role, an interview with actor Vince uh, Martano, Mar Digging up the past, an interview with producer Gary Adelman. Audio commentary with film historian Nathal Nathaniel Thompson. Promotional still and archival uh, gal article gallery. Reversible art and English subtitles uh, starring nobody I know. Um, 
This was originally released by Marmot Productions back in 73. Never heard of them, but, uh, yeah. Uh, again, region free. I, I didn't say what the other uh, ratios or anything were, so I'm not going to start the candy snatchers. Look forward to checking this one out. I say that about a lot. I haven't started really watching any of the My Vinegar Syndrome titles. I'm, uh, I have plans for them, and uh, it's just a matter of finding the time to do it. So, uh, Lastly, here, Dominique. I'm curious to know if anybody knows why some of them have the uh, security tag thing up top and some of them don't. Uh, that would be interesting to, uh, to learn why that is. I'm just trying to waste time as I struggle to open this. If I wasn't filming, I'd have it open. Okay, this is ridiculous. Come on! Wow. Yeah. Alright, I think we got it. Alright, a story of the macabre with a different twist. And we fell out. I forgot about the tape up top that I was just talking about. Let's take that shit off. Maybe. Alright. And you do have the three different ones on here. Here's your Blu-ray and your DVD. do have a different tagline too. I think I'm going to roll with this one. I just, I, I don't know. I don't really care for that one too much. I think we're going to flip this around. This is one, I, I wasn't too impressed with the trailer on it. And then I was hearing how, how it was actually pretty damn good. So, um, it doesn't really line up too well. Anyway, uh, Dominique is dead or is she? All right, uh, this is from 1978, runs 95 minutes, and uh, features include a new 2K scan, audio interview with actor Michael Jaston, audio interview with assistant director Brian Cook, original trailer, reversible art, and English subtitles. Uh, it says uh, Gene Simmons, but uh, I don't think it's the same Gene Simmons as uh, Kiss or anything. Um... He was in, he stars about uh, from Walkabout, Judy Geeson from 10, Wellington Place. Uh, huh. Anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, so Dominique is dead, or is she? Not a whole lot in the way of uh, features on any of these discs, but uh, nonetheless, it's Vinegar Syndrome, so it's going to be top notch quality and probably better packaging and features than the film. I do like how this is like a little bit smoother of a surface here. Uh, so, I mean, you got embossing, you got smooth surface, you got, uh, you know, three different covers to roll with and all that good stuff. So, yeah, again, guys, I uh, picked up, uh, you know, what, five titles here and a half dozen empty cases. So, cool, cool. Thank you, Vinegar Syndrome. You guys are fucking awesome. And, uh, I don't know why I'm saying thank you for uh, making me spend my money. But uh, thank you for uh, the packaging, the great work you guys put into everything. And I uh, look forward to what you guys bring next month. And uh, don't forget about that sale uh, this uh, coming weekend, guys. And um, yeah, that's it for me. So until next time, peace, love, happiness to everybody. And uh, see you all later. Bye.